I saw you. I saw you on Jay. Thank you. I, I saw you on Jay talking about how you get sick all the time, and of course I'm on Broadway, and the whole, of course, everyone on Broadway is like, if anyone's sick, it's like, so I totally relate. So I, that's me being. Thank you so much for doing that. I, and I, it's not so far fetched because I don't know if you heard that I was talking about this on Leno that I get, I get so sick now. Everybody I touch brings me some new little. But you must have the same thing. You're shaking people's hands all the time too. Shaking and, uh, in fact, kissing <laughs> the whole thing, you know. But that's mm -hmm. just my private life. That's just your what? Private life. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's not even the fans. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. And, and yeah. you're in a theater, and of course, it's like this. It's all going through. It's anyway, right. You, you get sick all the time. And they're all facing you, so when they cough, it just comes all towards you. You know, I was just watching an old Elvis thing from him at MGM. He gets off stage in the middle of his concert. And I'm, for 15 minutes, went around and kissed whichever woman came up to, I mean, long passions. Mm -hmm. I don't think there was right. time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, <think>. no. <laughs> I don't think tongue was involved, but still, right. I mean, it would have been a right. terrible Well, that's like, uh, what's his name, Richard Dawson from Family Feud. He made out with everybody on there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that show? I don't, no. no, that was, well, that was an American show. They probably didn't have it in Australia. No, we just got TV. Yeah. Two years right. ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, because you are from, where, you, what part are you from? Uh, I, I live in Melbourne, but I was born and bred in Sydney. Yeah, and that's beautiful there, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, I, I, I love it. Australia is a beautiful country. It really is. And, I, uh, I'm going one day. One day. One day I'll be there. When you get there. a break, when you're not sick. Yeah. Do you get back often, or? Uh, I love to go back as often as I can. In fact, I still feel like I live there, but being on Broadway, I'm on Broadway for a year, so I haven't been back, like, for a year or something. It's very strange for me. Well, it takes that long to get there, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> that's one of the reasons Close. I haven't been there. It's beautiful, but it's, it's... I think you start traveling and then you get there, like, uh, what, a week and a half later? About that, yeah. <laughs> now, people uh, say, how far is it, you know, from L.A. to Australia? I say, it's about four sleeping tablets in yeah. a row. <laughs> right. <laughs> is that what you... Now, you can sleep on a plane? No. Yeah. I, I have to... I have to take drugs. So, I... I, I mean, <laughs> it's... I'm yeah. sick... Right. Trust me, not those yeah, drugs. Yeah. No, no. no. It, it, I'm six foot three, so even, even if you're at the front of the bus, it's still not a comfortable proposition. Right. So I, I'm out. Just give yeah. me the sledgehammer, gone. So you don't feel anything, uh, what position you're in or anything, because those, because you're always, you always end up waking up facing someone you don't know. You yeah. open your eyes and you're like somebody sitting next to you. It is very odd. It really, and they give you those pajamas. I, actually, I'm going to go into a whole thing. I don't want to go into. What are you talking about? No. Uh, <laughs> What are you talking about? When you go on long haul flights, if you ever go to Australia, you walk on and they give you pajamas to get changed into. And it's a great leveler because no you're matter who the, you are. You're thinking of the Playboy Mansion, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I think Hugh Hefner does that. Even but... if you're very rich, or no matter who you are, you end up wearing these one size fits all pajamas, which could be prison issue, basically. Uh -huh. you know? And there you are at the front and in your pajamas and all, everyone's like, Night, night. Yeah. You know, it's a very odd situation. And what, are they made out of like those kind of things that the doctor gives you? Are they paper kind of things? No, they're not that bad. But they're uh -huh. they're, they're generic cotton, and I'm sure they're not new every time. Yeah. That's <laughs> do, do they have the little feet in them? Do, are they the footsie ones? No, 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 no they're not. No. But I love that you even know about those. Yeah, of That's course. <laughs> Didn't everybody have footsie pajamas? No. Oh yes. Yeah. I think that that would be fun. I think I did when I was maybe six months old. Is that what yeah. you mean? Like, yeah. I still wear them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you so you live in Australia, and and now we have Mother's Day coming up in a couple of days, yep. which is you know a big deal here. Is that a big uh, huge is that, deal? It yeah. is. Yeah. And, and in fact, my son was born the day after Mother's Day, so it's always a it's a time of great celebration for us. So your your son's birthday is is coming up. It, yeah. Well, uh, of course it falls. Like, it's the fifteenth of May, so I guess it's coming up in the same week. So uh -huh. uh, Oscar's just. Is so excited, but of course this year he's how, starting how to old understand. Is Oscar? I'm sorry? He's turning four. Oh. So he's now understanding that if a present is in the house, it's not only his. I mean, because oh. for a long time it was just his to rip, and if it was electric shaver, he'd be like, "Yay, yeah. electric <laughs> shaver and <laughs> right. whatever it is," you know. <laughs> right. So, uh, but now he's very excited about making breakfast for mum. So uh, apparently we'll be making breakfast at about. 11.30 in the morning and uh -huh. uh, for mum. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of cleaning up to do. What yeah. kind of breakfast does he know? He uh, wants pancakes. To make... Oh, he wants to pancakes. Make pancakes are our thing, yeah. And has he done that before? Uh, he has, actually. He mixes pancakes. He can make jello, and mm -hmm. he's not bad with crepes as that. Wow. The flambe version. You know, he's pretty good yeah. at that. <laughs> Right, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he just lights everything on fire. Yeah. It's there not intended to be flambe, but it is. No. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Those Pringles? Uh -huh. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and so at four, now what's he, because boys at four years old are into all kinds of uh, messy things, right? Yeah, but Oscar is into all the things we're not. Geology, uh, astronomy, I mean planets, but... I mean, we go to the museum and he's like, tell me the makeup of that rock again, Dad. You know, so the molecular makeup, I can read 35 times to him. And I, by the third, I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> over and over again. It's, and it's... He, he understands what you're saying. No, but he's interested in it, which oh. is... <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have to go to a commercial and we'll come back and try to figure out Oscar. <laughs> All right. clip from uh, Van Helsing. I think I had a mint in my mouth and it sounded like I said Hessling, but it's Helsing. <laughs> Helsing. And, and, and it's, Helsing, about, yeah. uh, it's about, it's about monsters. Well, I play a monster hunter of sorts. I mean, the famous Van Helsing from Bram Stoker's Dracula was this Dutch professor who was a master of the occult. And, and so we've imagined him as a younger, taller version, a uh, guy wearing a hat. And it's a great fun adventure. It's kind of like in the, in the, Indiana Jones kind of yeah. uh, realm of movies, and it's great. It's really great fun. It's a roller coaster ride from beginning to end, and, and you know, trust me, my wife loved it, and if she loves it, you know, any everyone will love it. Yeah, you know, it's really great. No, it, it looks good, and it, is it it's scary? No, really. It's. It, I mean, there are some moments, but I mean, like Indiana Jones wasn't scary. Yeah. It's just it's an adventure movie. Right. There's a great romance in it, and and uh, you know, no, no, not really. No. I, I, an eight-year-old saw it recently. A friend, and I said, "Is uh -huh. it scary?" And he goes, "Yeah." You know. Yeah. <laughs> So when you fly, like the way you, you flew in the air just now, yeah. uh, that wasn't you. No. But, but, <laughs> oh, but, the first bit was. The but bit landing, yeah. It was. The first bit is me flying onto a pad, and then okay. they cut and they throw. In fact, so, my brother-in-law, who was my stunt double, then they throw him <laughs> from a 20-foot ledge. It's true. From a 20-foot ledge and land him in about three inches of water with cement underneath. And I'm like, come on, brother. Yeah. You come in, uh, that's yours. Right. I, that's, uh, that's horrible. It is. You know what's even more horrible is he broke his leg during it, in fact. Yeah. So my sister wasn't all that happy with me. She no. was kind of happy at first. But, but then what happens then? Who do you use after that if he breaks his leg? Do you have another family two. member? Yeah. <laughs> we tried. Yeah. Right. But I gotta get a stunt double. Somebody sitting in for me once in a while. Yeah, they can do this like is, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Right. This is exhausting. <laughs> that I, I, somebody that just sits like this. All right. So now you're. This is your day off. You're on yep. Broadway, yep. Uh, doing the Boy from Oz. Yes. With, with the story. Now. And you sing and you dance. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is really cool that you sing and dance, and because it's a story of Peter Allen, right? It's Peter the, was a, a, a Australian entertainer that uh -huh. who, he married Liza Minnelli, and he went on to write uh, Arthur's theme. He won an Oscar for yeah. that. And when I go to Rio, I honestly love you for living. Lots of great songs that you'd recognise. But as a performer, he was out there. I mean, he he wore sequin shirts. He had maracas, and I he would him, jump yeah. up on his piano, driver. I mean. He would go crazy, and uh, so playing him is has been exhausting but exhilarating at the same time. Yeah, I, I can't know. believe you're here on your day off doing this, the, the press for the movie. So, okay, so you're dancing, and uh, I just want to learn, because I may end up on Broadway, you never know. You never so know. I'd like to learn a little dance move. Sure. So, uh... Well, actually, I need to, I need to find, because I learned some stuff on this that I've never done before, which was the Rockettes kick line. Because Peter used to dance with the Rockettes, all 30 of them, so we have this bit in the show with me dancing with the Rockettes. How's your hamstrings? Uh, fine. How are yours? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. All right. <laughs> oh, I, well, I should have stretched then. Okay. Okay. So, the thing, the thing with the rockets, I found, of course, it's all sort of up, and you have your hand on the back, right, yeah. like that. Uh -huh. But there's no pushing, otherwise, that's rockets yeah. go and kill themselves. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Unless you really don't like the rocket next to you. Right. And then you just kick right. as high as you can. Well, Pointed feet. Ready? I don't know which way are you going first. We we'll go right for it. Uh -huh. right Wait, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's the right. This is right. Okay. Oh. oh, straight up. 